In today's video, I'm going to give you 10 tips for navigating the SmartThings app. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and tackle the more obvious ones to begin with. And as we progress, I might get into some that are a little more difficult to find. So let's start with uh, number one. How do you add a new device to the SmartThings app? You can do this in two tabs. You can do it in the Favorites tab, which is the one on the far left with the star, or the next one over, the Devices tab. Let's go ahead and start with the Favorites tab. Hit the plus icon at the top, and then you'll see Devices in the list. Select Devices, and there you'll see the familiar Add Device screen. So let's back out of that, and let's go to the Devices tab now. Again, hit the plus sign at the top, and you're going to see in the selection list, Add Device. Click on that, and again, we're back to the Add Device screen. All right, number two, where can I find my smart apps? To do this, you want to go to the Automations tab. That's the fourth one over on the bottom. Click on that, and you'll see your smart apps are at the bottom of the list. Now, sometimes this is not obvious if you have a lot of automations. In my case, I do, and you'll have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see your smart apps. But if you want to get there quickly, a uh, quick tip here for you is if you collapse your scenes and your automations, then you can see your smart apps there listed at the very bottom. All right, next one, number three. Where can I add my Google or my Miss A voice assistant? So to do this, we're gonna to go to the Menu tab. That's the one on the far right at the bottom right-hand corner. Click on Menu, and there you'll see Voice Assistant, the third one down in the list. Click on that, and you can either add your Miss A account or your Google Assistant account. All right, let's go ahead and back out of there and let's tackle number four. Where can I see a list of all my installed devices? So to do this, we're going to go ahead and go into the Devices tab. That's the second one over on the bottom. Click on the Devices. Click on the Home icon up at the top. When you're in this list, this drop-down list, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see all devices at the bottom. Click on that, and here is a comprehensive list of all the devices that you have installed. All right, let's back out of that. Number five, how can I add a device to a room? So to do this, you wanna be in the Devices tab. I'm already in there. You'll tap the Home icon at the top, and then you'll select the room in which you want to add devices. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my living room at the top. All right, once you're in the room in which you wanna add a device, you click on the ellipsis at the top. That's those three dots and then you want to select Bring Devices from Other Rooms. That's the second selection in that drop-down list. And then here you can select all the devices you want to bring in this room. If you should happen to want to move them all over, you just hit Move All at the bottom. I don't think we want to do that, so we'll cancel out of there. Number six, how do I change the wallpaper of a room? So say, for instance, we don't like this green wallpaper in the living room. Again, we'll click on the ellipsis at the top and then click on the top selection of the drop-down list that says Manage Room. We'll click on Manage Room, and there you'll see in the list Change Wallpaper. If we click on that, you can take a picture from your camera and use that. You can use a picture from your iPhone or your Android phone from the gallery list, or you can click on Default Wallpapers and just select a Change Wallpaper for that. Hit Set at the bottom, and then hit Save at the top and there you see the wallpaper change. How can I reorder my rooms? So you likely already know if you swipe uh, either in either direction, you can go from one room to the next. It's difficult to find rooms that way. I would recommend going to the home icon at the top, selecting that, and you can go directly to the room that you wanna go simply by selecting it out of that list. But if you don't like the order of those rooms, the way to reorder them is, again, hit that ellipsis at the top. Again, select Manage Room. And at the bottom, you'll see the selection to reorder rooms. Click on that. And then you can easily 
change the room simply by tapping on and dragging uh, the room to the new location. All right, we'll back out of here. The next one uh, we're going to tackle, number eight, how do I add or remove devices from my Favorites tab? So let's go ahead and click on that Favorites tab. Uh, once in here, you want to tap again on that ellipsis in the upper right hand corner. So we'll do that and you'll see the option to edit favorites. Click on edit favorites. You can obviously remove a room by clicking on that red minus sign. But if you want to add something to the room down in the bottom left hand corner, click on add. And here you'll just select the radio button next to the device that you want to add to the room. Hit done and then that device is added and then you want to hit save at the top to save that change and now living room would be added to my list of favorites see it way there at the bottom all right and uh, number nine how can i view and adjust my geofence location well you can do this in just about any tab that you want uh, by simply clicking that home icon at the top and where it says manage locations you'll click on that this will list your location or locations if you have more than one you'll tap on the location that you want to adjust or view again under my location name bud's home i'm going to tap on the address of my home and here you can long press and uh, change your specific location simply by dragging it around. You can also increase the size of your geofence simply by moving that slider. So we're going to cancel out of that. Back to the main menu. And last but not least, we're going to click on tip number 10. How can I access my Z-Wave utilities? Now I've been asked this a couple of times on my channel, so I'll show you how to get there real easy. You'll want to click on your devices tab at the bottom click on the home icon at the top scroll down to where you find all devices again like i showed you previously and then in this list you just want to scroll through until you find your hub there's bud's home hub i'm going to click on that when you're in here it'll take a few minutes to load for me um, but uh, you'll see an ellipsis at the top click on that ellipsis and there you'll see the option for Z-Wave Utilities. Click on Z-Wave Utilities, and here you can either exclude a Z-Wave device or you can repair your Z-Wave network. Now I have a very extensive video on what these two utilities do and how you can use them effectively. Uh, I'll leave a link in the upper right hand corner so you can look at that video and check it out. It's, I recommend it's something that you watch uh, because these utilities are really handy, particularly if you're changing devices, moving Z-Wave devices around in various rooms or adding new devices, or if you have to delete a device and re-add it, you'll need that Z-Wave exclusion utility. So uh, I'm gonna uh, give you a bonus tip here before we wrap up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and back out of Z-Wave utilities and I'm gonna go in and click on that ellipsis again at the top I wanted to point out under Z-Wave Utilities, you see the selection of information. If you click on that information button, you can access information about your hub, including the hub's firmware version. And that is important if you contact technical support, they may want to know what particular version you have. It also has the controller version on there. So I thought I'd point that out because that may be something you need to access at some point as well. So with that, that wraps up the 10 tips for navigating the new SmartThings app. I trust you found that helpful. If you did, if you give it a like, that will tell the YouTube algorithms that this is a good video and that more people should see it. Thanks for watching today, and we'll see you next time.